Hey people, good afternoon and welcome back to my channel. So it's today China Doll here. Springs, I'm going to be eating lunch here at the Paddlefish for the very first time. Super excited because I like to try new foodie places. So journey along with me as we have lunch here at Paddlefish. And we're now going up the stairs to go to the second floor. <laughs> this is the menu for Paddlefish for their Africa starters. They have a crab cake beef skewers, calamari, jumbo lump crab top fries, fried green tomatoes, and lobster corn dogs. The lobster corn dogs, what the, the waitress she recommend getting, she said that one's one of the popular ones. And these are their main entrees. So they have catfish, crispy shrimp, shrimp pasta, chicken breast, a bunch of different sandwiches. Um, and then this is their drink menu. So I'm gonna be getting the Mayan Empress, which is the rum with apricot fruit liquor pineapple juice and fresh lemon and they also have like wine and beers and stuff like that and i really wanted to sit outside but i didn't know like like they like if you wanted to be outside you're gonna have to wait a little bit longer even with the reservations she said it would be about 30 minutes more but i was like you know it's okay I'm, i really want to eat i'm getting hungry so uh, but the view is not that that bad because well, you can still see outside the water look you can see the rainforest cafe through there <laughs> and um, um we missed oh look there's the boat look look guys there's the boat on the water the amphitheater car is a boat in the water that's so cool maybe one day i'll get to ride on that <laughs> <laughs> but I'm really excited to eat here the very first time. Um, let me know in the comments below, have you guys ever ate at Paddlefish before in Disney Springs? If so, what are you guys' thoughts? Do you like it? Do you not like it? I'm just curious because I like trying new places that are on Disney. So the cocktail I ordered, like I was telling you guys earlier, it's called the Mayan Empress and it comes with raw pineapple juice and uh, fruit liquor because I, as you guys know, I love my alcohol sweet and it's no more margaritas for me. Remember what happened at Epcot last time? I cannot, I'm not getting no more tequila for a long time. So let's see how this drink tastes. Oh, it's really good. It's kind of like... Um, a mimosa. It has that kind of um, flavors, in my opinion, because it it's like that sourish, sweet kick at the same time. <laughs> but it's refreshing. <laughs> For the starter, we had got the lobster corn dog. So it's like fried lobster corn dog on sticks. So this is what it looks like, and they give you this sauce over here to dip into so let's try it out oh that. mm. Mm. that's really good and you know it's hot and fresh when you can see the steam coming out of the of the corn dog it has that flaky texture and it's it's just this is yummy. If you like seafood, I would definitely recommend getting this appetizer. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> For the main entree, I had got the lobster roll. So it's lobster, obviously it's in a sandwich and um, it comes with these chips. And uh, I'm really excited to get it because usually I'll get this during the festivals in Epcot. And now uh, this is a bigger portion than the little tiny one they give you in Epcot. So let's see how it tastes. Mm -hmm. it's... Mm -hmm. I don't even know where to bite all of it. That's I guess. <laughs> mm. That's really messy. This tastes really good. And if you guys 
guys really want this, it's better to come earlier because my server, she told me that there was only like, whoa, it's falling apart, like 10 of them left. <laughs> I'm sorry guys, but this, this sandwich is huge. And it's just, this, it just keeps, I, I, I don't know what to say, but man, it's a really good lobster roll though. So for dessert, they have these push box that has alcohol in it. You can get either rum, bourbon, or tequila and I told you I'm staying away from tequila for a while so the first push pop I'm gonna show you guys dun 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 it's gonna be a surprise is the Caribbean Brie Sorbet so it is or pineapple juice orange juice and rum in this push pop got another flavor a mango rum push pop sorbet Ooh, I've never had these before so I'm curious to know what these taste like it's all it's 10% alcohol by volume let's see if it if you can actually taste the rum in this all right let's go take the cover off Oh, it is. This is the first bite of the Caribbean Breeze Sorbet with rum. Be honest, I don't taste the rum at all. It tastes like a regular push pop to me. I don't, I don't know. Maybe I'll feel it later, but right now, <laughs> no, I don't feel a damn thing. So. But it's really good. Definitely recommending this. It's a great dessert, especially if it's a hot day. A nice cool snack. What does it taste like? I don't know. I don't know how to explain or compare to what it tastes like. It's I don't know. I really don't know, but it's good though. But like I said, you hardly taste alcohol. Maybe later, uh, maybe after eating some more bites, I'll probably feel it later. But right now, alcohol is not kicking in. Take to get to the bottom of this pause. A hundred licks. <laughs> you know. If I look my way to paradise, maybe I end up back in Jamaica. It says it right here. It's like a mango, a mango smoothie. That's the way to describe what you asked me earlier, what it tastes like. A mango smoothie or mango daiquiri. Yeah, but that was for this one. How you gonna lick your way to paradise? You gonna lick your way to back to to Hawaii? Look, I'm where I go. Oh god, I'm making a mess. So just got out of the paddle fish, which is right behind me. The food was really good. The lobster roll was a bigger portion than I thought it was gonna be. The the Mayan impress trick was was good too and I like the little pop the pop push up popsicles um, I know I said earlier that I didn't really taste the alcohol but toward the end and then you can really taste especially at the bottom I know I'm starting to feel it now but overall it was a good lunch experience um, the service was great Stephanie my server she was awesome um, in case you're wondering yes it's on the pricier side um because like it's like like my meal was about like 30 something dollars and and the drink was like about 15 case but they do take annual pass discounts so if you have one you can show it and you get a discount on your bill um yeah so right in front of the lego store look at the sorcerer's mickey all made out of lego So 
So I'm here in the Marketplace Co-op store and I think it's a really cool Trader Sam shirt. It, I hope Trader Sam's bar open up soon back at the Colony because that's one of my favorite bars at the Disney Resort. And then I'm going to show you some really cool paintings that are on this shelf over here. I really like the stitch stuff too. It's really cool. Also, that's new in this store. I gotta show you the Dalmatian collection for the Dooney and Burt Bert bags. You got the Dalmatian ears, and then these are the bags right here. So this one is about three two ninety eight. So basically three hundred dollars. And the bigger bags over here last of the same price to my eat this is a really cool men's button up haunted mansion tea i think that's really cool um this one's 85 dollars what about drawing the haunted mansion what's that that's about that's 200 dollars for that one here goes the orange bird on the top left hand corner. I really like the prints for the up because up the up movie was actually one of my favorite Disney movies. That's cute. That print is for $350. So this is gonna end my day here at Disney Springs. It was a very fun day. It was really busy, but I'm not surprised because most weekends, especially Saturday days, are like this. Lunch was amazing in the Paddlefish. And then um, got to look at the new merch that they had in the Marketplace Co-op and in the World of Disney Store. And um, met up with some friends for a little bit in the Contemporary. Even though I know I didn't really film that. But um, overall, it was a nice day. Um, as you can see, the sun is setting in the background. Look at that gorgeous sunset overlooking Disney Springs right now. Let me give you a little 360 view. Oh, check that out. It's freaking gorgeous here. <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, give me a thumbs up, like, comment, share, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next adventure.